What's new in the lab? Today we are looking at a Roland Space Echo RE150. Released in 1979, the RE150 is the little brother to the RE201. There, there was the RE101, which more closely resembled the 201 in that it had three heads as well. Um, I think the major difference between the 101 and the 201 is the 101 did not have reverb, but I could be wrong on that. The RE150 uh, was created as a lower cost alternative to the more expensive RE201. The 150 had two playback heads compared to the three on the 201. The 201 also had a built-in reverb, which was not included on the 150. Space Echo tape delays employ a fixed head design. Time between the repeats is controlled by speeding up or slowing down the tape. This is different from the Echoplex units, which had a fixed tape speed and you move the playback head further away from the record head to lengthen the time of the repeats. Roland simplified the whole tape transport. Basically employing fixed heads and varying the tape speed, the simplified tape transport is a, is a bit more robust and requires less maintenance than the old Echoplex designs did. Um, if you own a reel-to-reel, -reel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, when they work, they're brilliant, but when they break, they're a nightmare to fix, and it's a nightmare to find people to fix them. One feature of both the Space Echo and the Echoplex units that needs mention is the preamp. There have been pedals designed after Echoplex and Space Echo preamps, uh, exotic uh, EP boost to name one, EP standing for Echoplex. The preamp adds a really nice warm saturation to the tone. It's very subtle and hard to describe, but you'd notice it if it was missing. Okay, let's talk about the signal chain I'm working with today. So I'm playing my American Strat 95. Um, that goes into a uh, Boss Super Overdrive SD1 for my basic uh, light to medium gain. And then I'm running into a uh, JHS uh, pack wrap that uh, just, just if I want to get heavier, I don't know if I'm going to use it in this demo to be honest with you. Um, I've got that running into an ISP decimator because I'm playing with single coils and I want to eliminate any of the buzzing because there's a lot of equipment in this room and it does generate noise with single coils. That's going into the input of the Space Echo, out of the Space Echo, into my Universal Audio Lion Plexi 68 pedal, which is emulates a 68 Plexi Marshall very well, I may add. Um, out of that into a Strymon Flint for a bit of plate reverb, then out to my interface and into my DAW. All right, let's go over some controls. Starting from the left, we have two mic inputs uh, for vocal mics. To the right of that, we have our instrument input, which I'm plugged into. Above each of the inputs is the level, um, so you could set the level and use the VU meter to do that. To the right of that is your mode selector. Uh, when you look at the modes, you have two sections here. One through one, two, three is um, repeat, meaning that you'll get more than one repeat, and that's going to be uh, regulated by the intensity knob here. And then modes four, five, and six are single repeat modes, with one exception. Mode six, because this is a two-head unit, will give you a second repeat. So. Um, depending on again your repeat rate and your in your intensity, um, you'll you'll hear two repeats. And then coming back over to the right here, we have our echo volume. This is basically a mix um, on on most other delay pedals. Uh, you, if you want the echoes to be subtle in the background, you turn it down. If you want them to be up front and present, then you turn that up. Um, Below that, you have an attenuation switch. You can you can knock the input signal down if it's too hot, and then of course your power button. Um, and I am oh this is I'm in the mixed output. It, this output here is uh, is the wet signal only. 
So if you were like running this into a board and you wanted your repeats to be on a different channel so you can EQ them or, you know, add reverb or whatever, you could do that. Just send the white signal out. So let's go over uh, this it, mode by mode, basically. So mode one is going to be on the repeat is going to be the, the fastest tape speed. And right now I have this turned all the way down. And let me turn the echoes on. So that's... That's a great slapback sound right there. And notice that the, um, the tone, it, it's got that warm saturation because it's running through the tape preamp. So if we turn the intensity down, we get less repeats. If we turn it up, we can, and right about here, I think, is where it starts to oscillate. And then you can... I mean, it's just a great effect. If you turn the echo volume back, that's awesome. So let's, uh, so that's the that's the fastest of the modes. If we uh, let's turn that back up a little bit. Let's just go. So that's real fast. Like you could, it's it, it's almost something you would use as as an effect. You know, more percussive. I would think. And actually, no, it adds kind of a nice background to it. It's it's really. Let's uh let's turn the echo volume up a little bit. Let's turn the number of repeats. Yeah. I mean that's that's like surf. That's a great sound, and as you go up, emits, and then you go up from there. At the fastest setting, I mean, I, it's 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 pretty fast. Let's slow that back down. Now let's go over to mode two. You can see the repeat times on the slowest speed are a lot slower than the last mode. Let's turn the echo volume down a little bit. for that song, but we can knock that down again. It's... I 
think mode two is probably the it's probably the most useful of the modes. You're gonna find more, you know, like echo. Because even if you go like more on the faster side. up a This is where things get interesting because it employs that second playback head. So you get, like for example, if we go back to the slow setting. short so let's go over to modes four five and six now these are single repeat modes like i said with the exception of six six will give you one additional repeat so let's go mode one is going to be like it's it's going to be exactly like um i mean mode four is going to be exactly like mode one uh, only with one repeat so <laughs> See if we can make it real subtle. Yeah. That's actually good. It's uh, not quite a doubling, but um, I know Eddie Van Halen used an echoplex, and he had that real slight delay, and you had to really listen for it, but if they removed it, you, you would know it was gone. It was real subtle, um, you know, and he used a tape echo for that, and, and the preamp, again, was part of that sound as well, you know, so if you're looking to replicate brown sound, you have to get a tape echo preamp, um, you know, run it in the chain, because, uh, 
So basically, so let's go back over here to mode two. Mode two is gonna, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, we're on mode five now. Mode five is going to be like mode two, only with a single repeat. on really to be honest with you um, so basically it's going to have the same speed sweep as as mode 2 um, it, it like I said just with a single repeat now over here when we go to mode 6 this is going to have be the basically the same as mode 3 except that it's going to have two repeats instead of you know however many repeats you set by the intensity <laughs> Let's, okay, that's slowed down, the intensity's up. Uh, the intensity makes no difference in four, five, and six. Let's bring the echo volume up. See, see the da da da. So there you have it, Space Echo RE150, um, really cool unit. Uh, I wish I had a 201 because the, that extra head definitely gives you more modes and, and you can create some pretty cool sounds with that one. Um, I was real happy to get this one. This one is in superb condition. Um, it almost looks brand new to be honest with you. It's even got all of the, the, the original packing you know, inside the lid here. and. Uh, uh, just a wonderful unit. If you ever have the chance to pick one up, you know, uh, I would definitely recommend it. So let's talk real quick about uh, about the uh, digital versions of these. So the single the single repeat modes, the Strymon Deco does that. Um, the Strymon Deco really emulates two tape decks, and as you bring, you know, you got them real close together, the repeats, and you could do through zero flanging which is how they used to do it originally in the studio. And then as you move the dial, it, it basically makes those tape decks uh, go further apart. So you go into tape chorusing and then doubling, and then you start to get into single repeat. And the Deco will do that very well. And it's, um, it's a great representation of that. And in bounce mode, it'll actually do the double repeat like mode six does on the space echo. The other one that I have that I really like is the Strymon El Capistan, and that one is really cool because it emulates Echoplex and space echo. So basically, when you get into the multi-head environment, so it does it does an emulation of you know movable head fixed tape speed, and it does emulation of these, which is fixed head and you vary the tape speed. What the cool thing about the El Capistan that you can't do on these is you can set the wow and flutter and uh, you can set the tape age, how it sounds, the saturation, and it also includes the built-in reverb like the RE-201 had. So there's a little more options with the digital unit, but I have to say, having played through both of them, what really makes a difference to me, besides analog tape being warmer, is the preamp. The preamp adds so much, in my opinion, to the sound. I mean, even without the... 
I turn the tape, Echo Saw. <laughs> Differences in the digitals, yes, absolutely, over the analogs, but um, they're getting real close nowadays. And uh, to be honest with you, a piece of equipment, if you bought it, you'd never gig with it. It would be used once in a blue moon for studio use if you wanted to lay down, you know, a track and use that. I mean, unless you just had cash to burn, you certainly wouldn't gig with a unit like this. Um, tape, tape delays, one of their drawbacks is, is that they're kind of fragile, you know, you drop one of these, you're going to be sending it in for repair. But uh, on the other hand, I mean, they, there's really not much out there that can, that can duplicate that, you know, the warmth of it. So, well, I appreciate everybody watching and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.